गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मेटलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्वेश्चन फोर्टी नाइन द ई एम एफ ऑफ द सेल इज वन पॉइंट टू थ्री टू सेवन वोल्ट एट एट सेवेंटी थ्री डिग्री कैलविन एक्टिविटी ऑफ लेड इन गोल्ड लेड अलॉय इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन टू एंड एक्टिविटी ऑफ लेड क्लोराइड इन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन एट द स्टैंडर्ड गिव्स एनर्जी of formation of lead chloride at 873 degree kelvin is it is given that universal gas constant is 8.314 joule per kelvin mole and faraday's constant is 96500 coulomb per mole okay now in this problem a gold lead cell is given to you and the half cell reactions are as follows at left electrode the lead gold alloy system in liquid is going to oxidize to lead 2 plus ion by release of two electrons at right electrode at right electrode the chlorine gas at 0.5 atmospheric partial pressure is going to reduce to chloride ion the summation of these two half cell reactions will yield the virtual cell reaction okay in cell reaction lead from gold lead uh, alloy system will react with chlorine gas and form lead chloride now using nernst equation we will try to find the standard cell potential at 873 kelvin where E cell is the cell potential at 873 kelvin E not cell is the standard cell potential at 873 kelvin K represents the reaction quotient of the cell reaction R is your universal gas constant T is the temperature N represents the number of electrons taking part in the reaction F represents the faraday's constant so we can find the values of each particular variable k is your reaction quotient and it is equal to activity of the lead chloride that is on the right hand side to the activity of the reactants that are lead and chlorine gas activity of lead into the partial pressure of chlorine gas and from the problem itself the activity of lead chloride is given to be 0.18 activity of lead is given to be 0.72 partial pressure of chlorine gas is given to be 0.5 atom atmospheric pressure so k comes out to be 1 by 2 or 0.5 now we can use this value of k in our nernst equation and find out the value of standard cell potential at 873 kelvin fine the value of cell potential is given in the problem and its value is 1.2327 okay the value of cell potential is given to be 1.2327 volt now upon solving this equation the standard electrode now upon solving this equation the standard cell potential at 873 kelvin comes out to be 1.2066 volt we are required to find the standard gibbs energy of the formation of lead chloride now we know that standard gibbs energy of pbcl2 formation is given as minus nf e not cell where n represents the number of electrons taking part in the cell reaction f represents the faraday's constant and e not cell we just calculated 1.2066 volt so the gibbs free energy of pbcl2 formation at 873 kelvin comes out to be in kilojoule it will be divided by 1000 it will be 232. 84 kilo joule per gram mole okay 
that is gives free energy of formation of PBCl2. Now to know more about the application of Nernst equation for calculation of Gibbs free energy kindly refer environmental degradation of materials by Dr. Kalor Mondal, Department of Metallurgy and Material Science, IIT Kanpur. Thank you.